Your Majesty. Why are you out here? I was missing you and I set out to search for you. You look so worried. Why? I thought as time goes on, everything will become easier. But it's becoming tougher. Should we say that when it gets tough, the end is always in sight? We now know who is responsible. At least, if we are fighting, we know who our opponent is. If we are trying to negotiate or to appease, we know who we are doing that to. That to me is a solution. You are right, Your Majesty. But of all the men in this world, why our son? Why did she choose our son to be her own? That question can only be answered by the goddess. Come, let's go inside. I don't want you to sit here asking yourself several questions that need answers. It's not too good for you. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. I'll tell you some stories. My father told me that when it is hard, that is when the solution is always going to Greetings, Your Majesty. They are really long and heavy. You say, wise one, you're welcome. Yes. No. The goddess needs an uncommon sacrifice. Something that is not easily obtained by humans. Have you thought of something like that? Before you answer, I have a very nagging question in my mind to ask you. Go on. And I believe you have an answer to that. Yes. Why the prince? Why did the goddess choose my only child? My only son? Answer me! It is only the goddess that knows why she chose her soul. And one of these days, she will tell you why. Of all the men in this life, why the prince? Is it that I'm being punished for my misdeed in the past? The goddess is not the one that goes to people randomly. You might have gone to her and she gives without reserve. Um, a wise one. I, I, I remember that we were the ones that met her. She didn't come to us. I, I can't recall, you know, pledging something that I did not fulfill at the end. So what's the force of the matter? Your Majesty, as mortals, we don't rely on our memories. But the deities, they don't forget. What we need is the tusk of a baby elephant and the back of a tortoise. It was a sacrifice. I beg your pardon? Why is one? Where do we get those from? Uh oh, well, hush, sons. It's okay. I'll do everything for your freedom. Why is one? Thanks. I will patiently wait until you make your findings so we know the actual requirements for all of this to be done so that we will gain our freedom. I've heard you, I will not call this a sacrifice, but a way to appease the gods. The gods have spoken.
<laughs> Madam, are you out of this world or what? Madam, you have been very quiet lately. No breaking news or information. I just hope you are right. Nina, not only that, she has stopped bragging about her undying love for the prince and how both of them were destined to be together. Chita, don't tell me you have given up already and <laughs> because you cannot do that. It was easy, fighting when the princess was my rival. But how do I fight Goddess Azira? She's fearless, she's scary, and she's a jealous lover. Uh -huh. She doesn't even want anyone to come close to the prince or anyone she loves. She can kill. So how do, how do you expect me to contend with her? Who am I? Ah. I am just a common maid. A common maid. Ah, okay. <sighs> <laughs> this girl is not feeling fine. <laughs> Chita, hey. you are very, very funny. I thought you were running your mouth. Calling the princess witchy witchy princess. Now you have said the real witch, you are running away. Ah uh ah, -uh. you cannot. Let me even ask you, were you ever in love with the prince? Huh? No, no, you, because you cannot give up. Even the princess has not given up. She is still fighting for her love. Please, take what belongs to you. Take what belongs to you by force. You cannot give up. Bro. Keep fighting. Trust me, you will get the prince. Princess Oni is understood. At least she's betrothed to the prince. Oh. Yes. Now you know. So she has every right to fight. What about me? The prince doesn't even look at me. My sight detains him. He doesn't even want me to come close to him. And you expect me to give up my life for him, a man who doesn't even care or love me. No. I know I love him, but I can't give my life up for him. Now you know. Oh, <laughs> wow. Thank Goddess Azira. You are the queen of all queens. Mm. So if you were not in the picture, this stupid girl here would have never come back to her senses. Excuse me. You are welcome, my dear friend. What is that supposed to mean? Did I go to another world before? Ah, ah, ah. So you didn't even know? You have been in the lands of dreams and imagination. But right now, my friend, I welcome you back to reality. <laughs> you are welcome, my I dear don't friend. blame you two. I know you two are nothing but jobless mates ah. and jealous mates. You're jealous You're not that, to be that, supporting me. We are not jealous of you. We are jealous of you. We are telling you the fact. We are telling her the fact. <laughs> She knows that she's a bitch. She cannot fight. She don't want to die. She don't want to die. She's, she's afraid of dying. <laughs> when they say that love is blind, actually she is crying. She, her eyes is closed. Well, you're welcome. Dad, please tell us. Is our sacrifice accepted? <laughs> hey, the one of Kukada has only. Unfortunately, she rejected the sacrifice. Well, yeah. So what else does she want? Does she want my heart ripped off and offered to her? Is that what she desires? Calm down, my prince. The goddess is always everywhere. And she might not like it too. Jiruwayo. Don't tell me that. That is totally unacceptable. I am not the one forcing myself on her. She was asked to save me. Why is she keeping me hostage? She can't force me to love her. Besides, I don't see her with my eyes. 
What the hell is going on? What makes us think this entire situation, this goddess and her shenanigans isn't fake? Because anything you can't see with your eyes is not real. It's not! Rise one! My prince! Rise one! My, 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 my prince! Rise one, please, please! Do something! Where are you at? 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 Notaba, Notaba. The goddess felt disrespected by his outburst. She is punishing him now, but has no intention of killing him. Oh? She's going to kill him one day. Uh -uh. She will not kill him. Omoyaka, what you woke with my friend at window, but we will eat Allah. You will have a pull up. My prince. Your Highness, permit me to take my leave. I'm glad. Before the Cardinal Morgan, before the Cardinal Morgan, we are. Let's look at you, the Latin Gamu. Did you do it for me? Oh! My prince, are you okay? Are you... Are you okay? Yeah. I feel better. I guess... My approach... Angered the goddess. It is true. She is everywhere. Say nothing else. You are provoking her. We are trying to appease her. Is it everything okay? There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Okay. Without the knowledge of my father the king, and my mother the queen. Your Highness. What do you want the honorable servant of the gods to do for you that they will not know? Wise one. Baba Mo. You said, and I quote, the goddess loves sacrifices. Yes. Uncommon sacrifices. Mm -hmm. The one very difficult for a man to give. <laughs> What do you think that is very difficult for you as a man to use as sacrifice? My life. It is very difficult for a man to give up his own life. Your Highness, are you telling me you want to use your life as sacrifice? You that we are looking for solution? Yes. I am ready to give my life in exchange for a three years marriage to the princess so I can produce an heir to the throne after my father. Ha! Your Highness, this year request is a great one and a difficult one. I believe you have to go back and rethink if this year request will be okay for your love or you are talking about yourself. Let me tell you, I will pretend that this meeting did not hold. I have to communicate with the gods and tell you what they want for their sacrifice. Mualeku, I did go up on digital for Kodi now. The limendo so be. But can I want to call a call all the aboroko? I told the queen to have mana managa. I got a car got limendo digital for Kodi now. The limendo so be. Oh, eba le rios, eba le bolike, mano dele le rios. Do you know? Wow. 
why did you not come into the palace? Because we recognize the fact that the world have ears. And whatever we intend to talk to you about is just here and it will not get out of this spot. Father, is everything okay? Are the people safe? My love, everyone is fine. Everyone in our kingdom is okay, except you. I don't understand, Mother. Well, we had hope of finding the solution to this thing happening to the prince. But knowing that it involves a deity, that's too hard to swallow. Are you asking that I quit? Are you, are you asking me to accept defeat after, after coming this far? My love, we know you have gone too far on this. They said fight for your love. We agree. But how do you intend to fight a deity? How? My princess, please think. You have a deity as a rival. I will fight by not giving up. By showing that my love is as strong as hers. Mother, she's loved him long enough and has protected him all his life. Do you think he will just release him without making sure the woman is worthy of him? Exactly our point. What length are you willing to go to show her that you are worthy of the prince? What length? This ends now. I mean now. We can't risk losing you because of this. Father. Father, please say something. Please. My love for him will prevail. I promise you. My daughter. Your mother is right. We are just concerned about you and your safety. Yes. This particular deity rejected all manner of sacrifices. Or do you want us to sacrifice a human being? Does the deity need human life? No, my daughter. The sooner you quit, that relationship, the better for all of us. Yes. Now that you can do that, now that you can quit, save this royal family. It is quite unfortunate that both of you have given up on me, but I will not give up. I must return to the palace. I cannot tell anyone that I met with my parents because the king will ask why you did not come say hello. And I have no intention of explaining the reason. Goodbye, mother. Goodbye, father. Please. Think. Wise one, tell us something good. Your majesty, what sounds good and pleasant is determined by the one who heard it. The upshot day has come and gone. And as expected, the goddess has spoken. What? Yes. Ah, That's nice. good news. <laughs> so, uh, what uh, shall we offer to her? What she did not. But you said they've spoken. Tell us what she told you. My Jerecha. She felt heartbroken that you can find a way to get her out of the life of your son. And felt rejected that your son did not show gratitude for all she has done for him from his childhood as a boy. What she has done for him? Yes. Are you saying my son had an encounter with the goddess when he was a boy? The queen. You made it possible when you went to the goddess for a help. The time is told that your sick son 
will die. Yes. Cross of our land, please save my son. Save my son for me, please. Please, he's my only child. Please. <laughs> my son, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. His temperature is high. My queen, why are you giving up? My son cannot die. The gods cannot permit my son to die at this time. You have to be strong. You have to be strong. He shall recover soonest. How is he going to recover when he's not responding to treatment? The royal physician has done all they could, and they say we must prepare for the worst. How is he going to recover? I do not believe in the words of the royal physician. My son will not die. We shall do whatever it takes. We shall seek solution everywhere to ensure my son comes back alive. My king, my son must not die. He's my only hope and the future of this great kingdom. Please, you have to do all you could. Do all you could to save my son, I beg you. I beg you. My queen, be consoled. I shall do everything within my powers to ensure He's well again. Nothing will happen to him. Nothing. And he shall be alive to take after me, his father. You have to be strong. Stop crying. Stop. Everything will be fine again, I'll show you. Ghost of my land. Ghost of my ancestors. You cannot let me down at this time. Please come to my aid. Save my ailing son. My only child. I cannot, I cannot bury my child. Oh, ghost of my land. Come to my help. Wise one. The royal physicians have failed me at this time. You are the only one that can help me. Our hope and trust is on you. What are the gods saying? Please help me. Save my ailing child. I cannot afford to lose him at this time. Your Highness, there is nothing the physicians can do. He is getting close to cross to the other side. At this point, only the gods will determine if he lives. Wise word. Please save my son. He is my only hope and the future of this kingdom. I will give my life. I will give my life if I must. Please save my son for me. Your Highness, the only way is to submit him to the deity. This is the deity of sacrifice and power. If you will agree to do that, your son will live again. I cannot withhold whatever that can give cure to my son at this time. Wise one, do whatever you can. Do everything within your power. Please save my son. I cannot lose him at this time. In my prime, talk to the gods. Do whatever you can. But please, I want my son hell and hearty again. Please, wise one. Your Highness, I shall return with the healing materials tomorrow. But right now, I need to run an errand for the deity. Thank you, wise one. You have given me hope. You have given me a hope. Thank you. Go well, wise one. And the gods favor you. My son. My son will be alright. <laughs> Your Highness, 
This is the sponge used by Goddess Azera while she had her baths. Your Highness, it is a cleansing agent from everything dark and ominous. The water in this calabash is from the river. The goddess had her bath. I shall apply it on him, and he shall drink from it. Wise woman, is that healthy? Is he going to drink from the, the water she had her bed with? This is what the goddess requested. Your Highness, of what use is it to question health and hygiene when my son's life is at stake? Wise one, go ahead. Do what you have to do to save my son. As you command, my son. This is your son. I present to you your son. Heal him. I present your son to you. This is your son. From this moment, you shall be well. From this moment, you shall be well. From this moment, you shall be well. You shall be well. You shall be well. Heal well. your son, Goddess Azira. Here is your son. Only you can do this. Only you can do this. Your Majesty. Yes. I shall feed him with the water. Go ahead. Yes, wise one. Here is the water. Take Please this. let me keep it. Remember, always feed him with the water. Thank you, wise one. I shall take my leave. Thank you, wise one. Thank you so much, wise one. Thank you. May the gods continue to favor you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. Your Highness, may your days be long. You too. Thank you, wise Thank one. You. May the Lord, pro may the gods protect you. You shall hear from me. May the gods protect you. <laughs> My son is alive. <laughs> yeah. I see. This has been the reason for those scary dreams I had. The old sponge. It was connected to the time I was a little boy. The goddess was trying to communicate with you for you to realize that she was not your enemy, but your savior. But we never knew she was going to take possession of him that day. <sighs> she asked that you submit the prince to her for her to heal him, and you agreed. She has kept her own promise. Now, it is left for you to do your own. Wise one. Yes. Can we leave my parents out of this? Tell the goddess to deal with me directly. It is my life and not theirs. She might not feel okay if you talk like this, because she has saved you right from your childhood. Thanks to her, you live a successful life. Nothing happened to you. All she needs now is your heart. <laughs> yes. Wise one. Amor. Are you trying to force me to love a deity? A woman I cannot see with my eyes? That's like building castles in the air. 
It's like catching the wind. It doesn't make sense. However, isn't there something we can do? I mean, what we already talked about. Can you ask her? Excuse me, Kiffy. Isn't that enough? Kiffy, are you trying to strike a deal with the goddess? Is that our concept? I thought we were in this together. Father, this is my cross. I have to carry it. I have to do what's right. Please. Your Majesty. I believe I've delivered my message. Can I take my leave? The gods have spoken. Your Majesty, you're welcome. I mean, this is an emergency visit, considering the fact that you are already here prior to my notice. Yes, Your Majesty. We gathered from my daughter and the chief priest that this whole thing involves sacrifice. The deity in question rejected the animal sacrifice that I've done already. And that leaves us to no other option but to do human sacrifice. That is why we have decided for us to come, so that we reason together. My king, don't you think that we should let these children be and stop this marriage alliance for their well-being and their safety tomorrow. My great friend, Oboa, I understand deeply how concerned you are about this. But to resign to one's fate is like to cripple fast. Sitting here deliberating on this is more or less like, you know, making haste, you know, to conclude. And saying that um, human sacrifice is what is required will be more like saying before the gods when they have not said. I suggest in my own candid way that we should wait for the chief priest to come. Who knows? There might be some other ways. Your Majesty, I have prayed and wanted our daughter to be married to your family. But seeing your son is already sworn to the deity gives me concern of safety for our daughter as a mother. Well, my friend, I understand your concern here. The princess might not be my daughter, but I consider her my own daughter. And no mother will endanger the life of her daughter. Like my husband the king said, let us not make a hasty decision. So that we will not make mistakes. Please let us calm down and wait for the chief priest to tell us the actual sacrifice to make. Yes. Please. Please. Uh, we have come a long way and it will not be good if we don't see the end of all this. I beg you to calm down, my friend. My king, please. Seeing the end of this determines the conditions attached. We won't be seeing the end of this if the sacrifice or condition involves our daughter. No, we won't. We won't. Uh, like I said, King Afunafu, let us put a stop to this marriage alliance. Please. Mother, do you wish to speak to me? Yes, my son. I was told you are planning to make a deal with the goddess. In this deal, you are going to live with Princess Lily for three good years. In 
biggest change for your life? Mom, you know it is funny how news make headlines in this palace. You heard right. You see, I'd rather spend three years being married to her, having beautiful children, than living my entire life without her. You are really selfish. Prince of Badua, the future king of this kingdom. How can you offer yourself for a sacrifice? What will be the fate of the people you are supposed to protect if you now offer yourself to a deity? Mom, I intend to have a son. And you're strong enough to take care of my son until he's ready to be king after my father. That's the only way out. There will always be a way out other than you sacrificing your life. The future of this kingdom lies on your shoulder. How can you think of sacrificing your life? Don't ever consider your life a tool to discard for your selfish interest. I don't want to hear it. Love is beautiful. It involves the heart. But what we don't know is, no matter how much we love someone, when we lose them, as long as the heart is beating, it goes on to love another. Mother, if this your speech is tilting towards me leaving the prince for another man, my answer is no. I've known you to be smart. Why do you allow emotion to affect your good judgment? Why? Mother, why can't you say this man is my happiness? Why can't you understand that? I love him. Fine, you may think that I sound selfish because I am not putting your emotions and that of that into consideration. But I can't help it. It is my decision. It is my choice. I love this man. Can't you say it? Why can't you pity this mother of yours? Oh, here we go again. Do you think I will go on living if anything were to happen to you? The prince is the one with complications. Why do you have to be the one to persevere? Mother, it is not his fault. <laughs> it is not his making. He didn't choose this life. It could have been anyone. It could have been me even. Mother, let me ask you a question. Can you put me in his shoes? Imagine if it were to be your daughter. Then the prince wakes up one morning and abandons her for another girl. How would you feel? You are not wearing his shoes. Oh, you are wearing yours. And you don't have to walk in the path of thorns. Think, princess. Your life doesn't want the sacrifice. It doesn't. Speaking of sacrifice, I do not know what will be requested. But whatever it is, I will stand by the prince. Greetings, your highnesses. The humble servant of the gods, 
and share with answers from Goddess Azira. Uh, be free. Tell us what does she require as a sacrifice for us? Thank you so much. The goddess said that the princess must bath with this sacred obo, the sponge, for seven good days on empty stomach. She will not eat. And that the princess must sleep in a dark room for those days. Then that room must be dark morning and night. I have spoken. Is that all? Yes. Then it's it's easy. Let me get started. No, 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 no. Not all that fast. The princess should do this. Why the goddess should decide if her mind is pure enough for the goddess to accept the sacrifice. But whereby the goddess rejects the sacrifice, the princess might lose her life. Mm. No. I said no. She will not do it. She will not do it. This is a trick to eliminate her. Aren't you wise? There is no way a goddess who has made up her mind to hold on to the prince. You see the princess's heart, body of him. She will not do it. She will not. As a mortal, you people talk from your head. Have to take time. Be careful. The deities don't talk like that. But they rely on their promises and their words. This is the sacrifice that must be made. You have to think. If you want us to do it, fine. Let me take my leave. Thank you. The tofu. Hello, good evening, good evening. 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 Please, can we think about this whole process, sir? There is nothing to think about. It is the life of my daughter that we are talking about here. The life of my daughter is in danger. My king, have you been able to ask yourself this question? Supposing the deity refuses the sacrifice, and the sacrifice is unworthy, what do we do? No. No. Be a friend. Lily, get ready. You are returning back with me now to my kingdom. Now. Now. Your Majesty, I am about to lose the only woman who loves me. And you sit and do nothing about it? Sam, we cannot force them to consent in giving their daughter's hands in marriage. Can't you just accept that this alliance is over? Why should I accept it, Father? Why should I? This is the only shot I have in a lifetime to be loved. And you want me to lose it? Father, there are other ways. I can strike a deal with the goddess to marry the princess for three years in exchange for my life so I can produce an heir to the throne. I forbid you to talk about giving your life as a sacrifice. You are not a commoner. What's the matter with you? You are an heir to the throne of Bedouin Kingdom. I will not allow you to speak clever things about your life. Father, you do not want me to lay my life, but you want her to lay hers because she's a woman. But I am a man and a future king. That is not it, son. It's about the princess. It would be so selfish of us to hold on to her when we know there is possibility that she might die. You are the future king. A king is a servant. To his people, you will soon be the father of this kingdom. So please, it will not be nice for you to lay down your life. Don't even mention it. 
that you give in your life for a sacrifice to a deity just because of love. You think about it. Mom, I understand you perfectly well. But that totally means you only live once. The people are going to be fine. They have my father. My father is strong and healthy. And he's going to live very long. But I probably do not stand a chance. And mom, do I remind you that life without love is nothing. I'll try to convince my parents. I'll tell them striking a deal with the goddess is the only option we have. No, no, but, but I don't want that. Listen, I, I have decided, I have made up my mind that I am going to do the ritual. Please don't say no, please. No, my love, I'm not going to let you do that. Besides, we don't know. No one knows what she's going to do in the end. So I'm not going to let you do that. I'm sorry. But, but isn't that what love is about? Giving up your life for the other. I watch you suffer severe heart attacks, yet you keep saving me. You've risked your life countless number of times just to save me and you say no to this. Please. Let me reciprocate. I beg you. No. This is my fight. This is my complication. I am not going to allow you sacrifice your life for my sake. That's totally unacceptable. If the goddess wants a life, she should have mine. Besides, I am the one she saved and not you. Listen to me. If you give up your life, be rest assured that I am going to give up mine as well. Let me save you. Let me save us, please. Please, I need to save you just as the goddess saved you when you were young. It is my turn to save you. Let me do this one for us. Lily, I am sure you have said goodbye to the prince because you are going home with us now. Your Majesty, I love you and mother so much, but I'm sorry to disappoint you. My heart lies with the prince. Can you stop being stupid? What is wrong with this girl? Eh? What is wrong with you? Do you think a deity that has held on to a man since he was a boy will find you worthy of him? Do you? Ha! God, the deity loves sacrifices. And a sacrifice is what we are not willing to give. And you are ready to sacrifice your life. You want to give your life to the deity. I want to ask you, my daughter. Is this a sacrifice or a suicide? Answer me. It is a sacrifice, Father. The essence of doing all of this is to see the prince happy and to live happily ever after with him. Even as I know, I might die trying. Yeah. Oh my God. You may think you are brave, but I put it to you, you are very, very stupid and foolish. 
if you die, he will go on to love another girl after mourning you for a few years. If you love you that much, I really do not care, mother. I really do not care if he starts loving another, so long as he's happy. His happiness is paramount to me. That's all I want for him. Listen to me, lady. Just listen and listen real good. It is the stubborn house flyer that do not perceive the stench of the excreta that follows the coffin to the grave. Exactly. I forbid you. And I disapprove of this marriage alliance. Now I command you, go and get your things. You are going home with me. The whole nonsense about marriage alliance is over. It's over. Father, separating me from the prince is as good as killing me. This thing is really getting on my nerves. Patience is being tasked. Greetings, Your Majesties. Greetings, Kifi. We are aware that you have a very busy schedule, tight one indeed. And we do not intend to waste your time at all. Please, That's right. my son, stop this relationship with my daughter, the princess. Stop it. You know, we like you a lot. Even consider you our son. We wanted this alliance more than anyone, but not to the detriment of our daughter's life. If you know, you still have an atom of love for the princess. Please, let her go. Please. Your Majesty, I care about the safety of your daughter as much as you do. I will not allow her to risk her life and her safety for my own problems. I have decided to strike a deal with the goddess I intend to marry your daughter for three years in exchange for my life. What? Is that the only solution you can come up with? Have you forgotten the future of your kingdom? Have you forgotten the crown? What happens if your father dies tomorrow? My dear, you have a duty to perform for your people. I want you to remember that. I'm leaving our daughter to pick up the ashes when you are gone. Did it not occur to you that she will be miserable as the result of your death? I may lose the will to go on living. Hmm? Your Majesty, I do not mean to anger you, but that's the only solution I see. And most importantly, it is my life, and I'm ready to sacrifice it. No, 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 my son. Nobody is dying here. As far as there is life, there is hope. Please, for life's sake, stop this relationship with my daughter and convince her to come back home to me. That is all I ask of you. Do me this favor, please. I do not want to lose my daughter. You are so restless, my queen. What is it? Again. Your Majesty, do you think he can give up his life for three years just to be with her? Oh, come on. The prince is just like his father. He's a lover and a fighter. I'm just praying that um, there will be a better day so that all of this will be gone in the wind. How come when we were thinking about solution to combat this force? 
We never thought of our past. When we gave the prince to the deity to be saved. Even when he spoke of dreaming about this punch, we didn't remember either. How could we have forgotten a very serious issue like that? We totally forgot how weak he was when he was growing up. That he almost died. The sponge. Can you remember where you kept it? How can I remember? When I totally forgot about its existence. How could I? Uh, How careless okay. I was, okay. oh God. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. This problem is half solved. Uh, uh, you know what? Tomorrow we are going to search everywhere. We are so we search everywhere necessary for the sponge, okay? Ah, thank you. Thank you. Lillian, go inside there and get your things. You are leaving with us right away. Now! Father, I am an adult. I have the right to make decisions for my life. Is that how to talk to your father, the king? I'm asking you, princess, is that how to talk to your father, the king? You may be a grown-up, like you said, but you will forever remain our little girl. Now go in there and get your things, just like your father said. Now! We are the guards! Come and drag my princess out of this place immediately! It hasn't What nonsense was that? I'm sure the princess will obey you and not trying to use force. I am not going anywhere. My soul, my heart, lie with Kithi. If you want me out of this palace, then be ready to go with my lifeless body. I have never said this before. But you are forcing me to say that I am disappointed in you. I'm ashamed of you. Why are you threatening your father with your life? Or you think you can provoke me by telling me that you want to take your life? Remember, it was your choice to serve the goddess. It was your choice to make that sacrifice. And I warned you about this foolish thing you called love. What love was that? <sighs> it was your choice. Please. Calm down. Let me go and talk to her, please. My princess. Princess. You will understand that there are things we cannot force. She is getting on my nerves. I understand. I hope you are okay, my friend. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I don't know what will happen to her. I assure you, nothing will happen to her. Princess is very brave and strong. And her love will conquer all odds. And do you remember what you told me the other day? That you consider my daughter the princess, your daughter. And you will not allow any harm to come to her. Please, from one mother to another, take care of my child. Stop her if you must, if she's putting her life in danger. Do not be afraid. I assure you, like I said before, she is a very brave girl. Hmm? You're welcome. Thank you. Let me see you to the car. Hiya. My queen, you sent for me. Yes, I did. Please sit. Thank you, my queen. What you are about to do burden the heart of everyone. I want you to consider the pain that your parents will be feeling 
and return back home. Why is everyone asking me to go home? When I'm home, my home is with Prince Kifi. I am here to stay, Your Majesty. As noble and brave that this sounds, my princess, I want you to remember that once you step into that empty dark room to carry out that ritual, there will be no going back. This is serious. Do you know you have 50-50 chance that you might die? Your Majesty, I would rather take the risk than leave this palace and stay away from the prince. I want to do this. Please, let fate take its course. The prince must be very lucky to have a woman like you. I pray that the gods will protect you and make you victorious. Amen. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your words are kind. Wise one, you're back so soon. Yes. I am here with a message from the goddess who says that the prince will marry his love for three years. In exchange of his life for the goddess, and the goddess has accepted it. <laughs> hmm. That's good news. I knew she would accept the offer. Okay. The offer is no longer on the table. I have made up my mind. I've decided to do the ritual. Wise one. This is a serious ritual. It concerns life and death. They must have to think well about that before you go into it. I have no intention turning back. the prince would have done the same for me. Okay. You have only 48 hours to think about that because immediately you enter that room, you cannot come out. You cannot change your mind. Right? Your Majesty. Yes. Permit me to leave. The gods have spoken. Where are you? I'm waiting for you. Hurry up. You, you, you called me? Yes, I called you. Okay. I hope all <laughs> What is this? Open it. Oh, <laughs> chicken. Yes, chicken. Oh. I brought it for you. When I was frying it in the kitchen, I just said, let me just sneak out one for you from the king's own. Because oh I know you will like it. <laughs> Don't eat it now. Mm. Why are you eating it? You have mm. package and nobody will see you. Mm. Still, you made my heart to rest. Yes, I'm very, very happy. But <laughs> Sherpa, wait. I hope you are not trying to lose me again. Oh, you pretend to take care of me. So that you will achieve your evil desire. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I'm giving you attention now. You're complaining. If I don't give you attention, you will still complain. Nothing. Mm -hmm. What do you, you mean you don't have anything against me? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <coughs> that is a sign of love. 
Yes, I should call this one love. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> now, now, see, I love you from the bottom of my heart. See, my love is not complicated. Hmm? I will give you the peace of mind. In fact, you will have this world on top of your backs. Like, you give me this chicken. Now, I have something to say. I want you to stop fighting for invisible lover. Yes, because you are too smart. And you just made a right decision. <laughs> it doesn't mean... <laughs> So, hmm? my love hmm? is qualified by Ano Koko. Hmm? Chicken. Hmm? So, chicken is where my love is. It's part of love. Ah. Hmm. Boniface, hmm? I don't blame you. Hmm? I don't blame you. So, my love, very expensive love, is what you qualify for chicken. Um. I told you my love is very expensive, but you don't get it. Before you can win my heart, mm. eh? huh? like you will suffer. Yeah. My love doesn't come easy, uh. because I gave you this chicken, you're not gonna hear love, love, love. Uh. I don't blame you. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Don't touch me. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can beat me again, that. Stop okay. shouting. Be going before these girls that are in this palace that, that like gossiping. Who we'll, we'll, we'll come and see you eating this chicken now? Okay. I'll go. Hey. I'm going. Be going. I'm going. Come on. 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 Yes, it sounded like Bonnie. I love you, Bonnie. I love you so much. Yes, oh, mommy, thank you so much. Wherever you are right now, I'm thanking you so much. Hmm? My love story is about to begin. <laughs> Hi. I thought you were fast asleep. I'm thinking. How are you? I'm doing good. I have missed you more. You know, I've been thinking. You don't have to do this. Three years is such a long time to get married and have beautiful children. What? What happens when you are gone? Do you not think that I'll become lonely? Speaking about loneliness, I feel our unborn children would be around to keep you company. They would make you happy. They would remind you of me. And you'll never be lonely again. They are not you. In the cold and rainy nights, I will need you to warm my bed. Yes, I will love my children, but they can never take your position. Those nights, I will need my husband.
I'm worried about you. I'm scared. Our love will prevail. I love you. I love you too. Get some sleep. It is very obvious you two are scared of me. I wonder why. What? <laughs> <laughs> Scared of you? How? Nah. Kida nife onida fuzo. Why should we be scared of you? For what now? If you're not scared of me, why do you go round gossiping with my name? Yes. If you call yourself a woman, come to my face and say it to my face. Chita, we are not scared of you. One bit. Yes. We see the way you throw yourself at Boniface after bragging that he's not up to your standard. Hey, hey. Don't mind her. <laughs> her conscience is breaking her because she doesn't say she doesn't shoot for it. Uh -huh. I thought you are so ambitious. You want someone so noble. It is a shame seeing you going back to the man you rejected openly. Throwing yourself at him, begging him to take you back. Oh, my dear, it's appalling. Is it your truth? Is it your body I'm throwing at you? But it's my business. It's your business. <laughs> you should learn to mind the business that pays you. And that is cleaning and keeping the palace clean. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. Is it that you guys don't understand what's happening between Boniface and I? You don't. How will you know? All you do is wag your mouth. I'm a button dasher. Mm. See what you're saying? You are so shameless. Uh, so you know that you are going to accept him. Why all this drama for? Mm, for eh? what? <laughs> Why are you pretending? For what? Well, at the end of the day, you fall for him. <laughs> hey! I ask you, is it your fault? No. And what is wrong with a woman being able to know if a man really loves her? And what is there for a woman to carry herself with prestige and give a man long rope to be able to, you know, seek for her, show her he loves her and show her all the love and affection she demands? What is wrong with that? Mm. You will not know. You're local. Mm. You follow all these small, small chingong eh, boys. Madam that will give Hattel you nothing. Madam Hato gets. Yes. For who, Kwanu? Boniface. <laughs> Princess Lily, tomorrow is the final day for the ritual. And you have only today to make up your mind. For all we know, the goddess is trying to lure you into a trap. Because I don't think she has any intention of releasing the prince to you, no matter what you do. So, I am seeing this ritual as a death in these guys. Your Majesty. Yes. I am ready. It is time to save the prince. I am ready to do that. You see, this... This isn't just about me, but about our future together. Please let me do this. Honestly, I, I don't know what to say. But I know that this sacrifice will not be in vain. The gods will guide and protect you. The same. But my piece of advice, I would want you to return to your parents, stay with them for some time, you know, Discuss some important things with them. Finally, before you embark on this journey. Your Majesty, it will not be a good idea. 
I would rather my parents come here before proceeding to the dark room. If I go visit them, they are going to hold me against my will. My parents love me. They love me so much and they are scared of losing me. If I go to my kingdom, they will hold me against my will and I will end up not performing the ritual. It's okay. I will tell the prince to take your message to them. Yes, my dear. You have to rethink. Think about this if you will continue with this ritual. You are now ready to offer yourself to the goddess Azera. You will be locked in a room for seven good days. No going back for you. No going back from now onwards. Your fate lies in the hands of the deity. Say your goodbyes. There will be no goodbyes. For I shall return. Hmm? I believe in the power of our love. And in the faith of our will to never depart. Please. Pray that I succeed. Please, my daughter, come back to me. You are all I have. You are brave with a heart of gold. And the goddess knows that you are selfless just like the goddess. My daughter, you will come back victorious to us. I'm very, very proud of you. Go. My spirit is with you. My love. Sir. If this mission gets tougher and more difficult, I want you to call on me. I'll be there to help you. Who is your brave girl? Again. Me. It is time. Let us proceed. You love him so much and would not release him to another. You've put me through all of this, not because you want to punish me, but to know if I am deserving of him. You do not want any harm to come to him. I am aware of that. The love you have for him cannot be compared to the love I have for him. But I am willing to try. I am willing to love and protect him just like you do. I love him more than life itself. Please. Please let me try. Trust that is in good hands. I will make him happy. I 
you make him happy. Please, release him to me. Release Prince Keithy to me. Release him to me. My friend, you look so worried. Princess is a very brave girl. She's going to be okay. Please. I'm worried about her. She has never had any reason to stay hungry. And today, she has to stay hungry for seven days without food or water. I'm afraid she might collapse even before this is over. No, we don't have to say that. Eh? We have to pray to the gods for strength. We also need to pray that all this her effort will not be in vain. Please. She's going to be okay. Please calm down. Cheer up. Okay? I'm trying. I'm trying. That's my only daughter in there. I don't even know if she will make it out alive. She will. Yes, be positive. She will come back to us. I know that. I believe she will surely come back to us. My good friend. Cheer up. Okay? Don't have to cry. Cheer up. Please be strong for her. Okay? Be strong. I'm worried about her. I went too close to the room and I didn't hear a sound. What's going on? Kefi. Just be a man. The instructions of the priest is very clear on this. We are not to interfere in the ritual. I know, but what if she's in danger? What if she needs help? We need to know what's going on. I need to go in there and bring her out. This is the fifth day. We have only two days left. If we go in there and interrupt the process, then her effort for the past five days will be useless. Just be patient and wait to the end. This is so touchy. I am in a career. Cannot come close to each other. Love Roma, love Roma, love Roma, oh, love Roma. and get her. Sotinana, 
Gwe kweni soti ya nana 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 Gure kweni sote nana Wise one What's happening to her? She's not moving Is she dead? You need to speak to us Something has to be done Nothing can absolutely be done no. This is not in my hands. It is not within my powers. The deity must decide her fate. No man interrupts. No man dictates for the gods. No mortal interferes with the process of the nature. And I cannot interfere. Hmm? Wise one, please do something. She's my only child, my only daughter. I don't want to lose. Nothing can be done Hi. than to just wait. I'm finished. It is all in the hands of the deity. I'm finished. <laughs> She's alive. Long live the goddess. Thank you. Thank you for sparing my life. Kiffin. Kiffin. My love. Sparing my life. My love. Lily. My princess. My love, it's me. Can you see me? It's me. Son. My princess. Princess. Hey. Are you okay? Hey. Hey. Wake up, it's me. It's me. Life, you made it. Oh, he's done. 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 He's done.
大丈夫。ほか。ほか。The full moon is mine. <笑>はい。Oh. <笑> It works. Yes. <笑> I'm happy. I saw it. Finally. Can you see it? I told you to do this. You want? For the past few months, the royal families faced a battle with a force to reckon with. <laughs> Our unity and love put to test. But we thank the gods. In their own magnanimity, we were able to triumph at the end of it. <laughs> Having said this, I want to thank you, my good friend King Oboa, for believing in your daughter, even when the odds were against her. I say thank you once again. <laughs> my in love, my king. You know, at some point, We almost lost faith yes. in this alliance. Patience is a virtue. Seriously, I have come to terms with that. <laughs> But I thank the gods yes. that made you to understand that our concern is just because we are parents. Yes. <sighs> It is indeed going to be. The marriage of the decade. Oh. <laughs> I am happy. Me too. The alliance is going to take on so. Ah, I see. I'm very, very happy. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Can you imagine? My people. Yes. We have a royal marriage to plan. Oh yes. Exactly. We waited for this day. <laughs> There's no need to delay any thought at all. <laughs> Your Majesty. Yes. I'm excited. I know. <laughs> And I want to thank all of you immensely for your support, your kindness, and your love towards us. At this point, I'd like to make this official. Come here, come here. Um, yes. This is my happiest day. Um, Princess Lily. Yes. I'm excited to be the love of your life. Uh -huh. But I'd like to make this official in the presence of our parents. <sighs> Say yes, will you marry me? Say yes. Ah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> A big yes. <laughs> The full moon is my glow. Yeah, 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 yeah. The full moon is my glow. I see. The full moon is my glow. I see. The full moon is my glow. Butu, I'm happy. I'm happy finally. Ah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, what a watcha. What a watcha. What a watcha. <laughs> True highs and lows.